Are you ready to discover the deep, dark secrets of the largest planet in our solar system? NASA's Juno mission, a $1 billion project, has unlocked a treasure trove of mind-blowing discoveries about Jupiter since it arrived at Jupiter in July 2016. Through cutting-edge technology, the tennis court-sized Juno spacecraft has captured incredible photographs of the gas giant, revealing stunning details hundreds of millions of miles away from Earth. But the real excitement lies in the groundbreaking insights Juno has discovered about Jupiter's mysterious inner workings. From unexpected findings to baffling discoveries, this mission has changed everything we thought we knew about the mighty gas giant. Buckle up, space enthusiasts, because we're about to take a thrilling journey into the depths of Jupiter's secrets with Juno. If you are new to this channel, if this video gives you any value at all, please click the like and subscribe button, because that would really help us out to go ahead and pump out new videos for you guys. Jupiter is referred to as the king of the planets. It's the big daddy of our solar system, and named after the Roman king of gods. It's not just the biggest planet in the solar system, it is also the oldest. Jupiter is believed to be the very first planet formed in our solar system, and likely had a big influence on the way our solar system looks today. And it surely has a big influence towards the star that is powering the solar system, the Sun. Brace yourselves for this shocking revelation, as this will surely blow your minds. Jupiter, unlike the rest of the planets in the solar system, does not orbit the Sun. If it's not orbiting the Sun, what does it orbit? Jupiter is massive, approximately 318 times as massive as Earth, and its size causes the Sun's center of gravity to be pulled away from the Sun's center to around 30,000 miles kilometers, above its surface. That would mean that the Sun and Jupiter are both orbiting this exact location in space. A year on Jupiter takes about 4,333 Earth days, and even though Jupiter has a very long year, it only gets a little amount of daylight, as a day in Jupiter only takes 10 hours. Jupiter's famous formation of cloud belts and zones can be attributed to the differential rotation of various sections of its atmosphere, which generates intense and powerful winds that shape the clouds. But wait, there's more! NASA has just discovered 12 new moons around Jupiter, making a grand total of 92 moons. For decades, we have been desperately trying to know everything there is to know about this insane gas giant. In March 1972, we embarked on an ambitious mission as Pioneer 10 launched to travel to the outer parts of the solar system. 21 months later, in December 1973, Pioneer 10 made a flyby of Jupiter and took the first close-up pictures of the gas giant. It was not until 1995 that a mission dedicated to Jupiter was launched. The Galileo missions were the first ones to orbit the red giant. Galileo gathered a large amount of information about the Jovian system, making close approaches to all four largest moons of Jupiter. But none of these secrets really unraveled the true secrets of the gas giant, which lie hidden below its thick atmosphere. We would need a spacecraft with the ability to peek through this layer of the massive planet. A spacecraft powerful enough to peep what Jupiter is truly made of and what lies within its core. And in 2011, 16 years after the Galileo missions, a spacecraft named after the Roman goddess Juno, the female counterpart of Jupiter, was born. It signaled the start of an over a decade-long romance between Jupiter and his new companion, Juno. Juno is a NASA space probe orbiting the planet Jupiter in hopes to reveal the secrets behind the planet. It was built by Lockheed Martin and is operated by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Juno's structure resembles a wind turbine, with its three solar arrays acting as the rotor blades. Each has a size of 29.5 feet 9 meters, by 8.7 feet 2.65 meters. The main spacecraft, however, stands at 11.5 feet 3.5 meters high, and also 11.5 feet 3.5 meters in diameter. To further examine the mysterious planet of Jupiter, NASA instilled nine main instruments into Juno, which helped the spacecraft navigate and explore the red giant. Juno embarked on a long journey on August 5, 2011, as it was launched by the Atlas V-551 rocket from the Cape Carnaveral Air Force Station. 
The journey to the red giant lasted for almost five years, as Juno reached Jupiter's orbit on July 5th, 2016, and since then, Juno has sent us humans valuable information about this mysterious planet. Juno is the second spacecraft to orbit Jupiter. It flies in an elliptical orbit around Jupiter, getting close to the planet once every 53.5 days. The spacecraft's closest flyby lasts for several hours and is called a perigove. During a perigove, Jupiter passes within thousands of miles of the planet's surface, enabling the probe to make detailed and unprecedented measurements of gravity, magnetism, and plasma fields. Among the numerous striking features of Jupiter, one that stands out the most are the vicious and gigantic storms within, including the Great Red Spot, a grueling storm that can fit three Earths inside and is going for hundreds of years. One of the first things that Juno revealed is that there are more gigantic storms going on inside the planet than we know about, especially at the planet's poles. Before the Juno mission, no spacecraft in the history of astronomy had ever taken a picture of Jupiter's poles. We just assumed what they looked like, but never did we actually see what's going on there. When Juno arrived at Jupiter in 2016, it sent photos of Jupiter's poles that are mind-blowing. Juno revealed that these enigmatic regions are way bluer than the rest of the planet. This is caused by the collision between highly energized particles from outer space and atoms of gas within the planet's atmosphere. But what baffles our astronomers even more are the homogeneous storms wreaking havoc on Jupiter's poles. On the planet's south pole, Juno spotted five gigantic storms, while eight wicked storms engulfed the North Pole, each one wider than the entire United States. What's more interesting is that these storms stay put in the planet's polar regions. Each flyby reveals that these storms are not going anywhere. These storms are deadly. It's already insane that these storms are so wide, but Juno revealed that they are bizarrely deep as well. Deeper than we ever thought, these storms may originate from more than 1,900 miles 3,050 kilometers below the planet's gassy surface. During its first eight perigoves, the spacecraft also detected 377 lightning discharges via their cacophony of radio emissions. When the researchers mapped the location of the lightning, it revealed that most of them are concentrated around the planet's poles. Talking about extreme weather, Nothing can beat Jupiter's infamous Great Red Spot, which is a storm that has been going on for almost four centuries. While Juno peeped through the gigantic storm, it made a thrilling and important discovery about the planet. The planet seems to be rich with water. During one of its flybys, Juno discovered that Jupiter may have two to nine times more oxygen than the Sun, and oxygen is the main component of water. Aside from the shocking revelations about Jupiter's weather, scientists were also baffled on the discovery about its gravity and magnetic field as well. Juno has a special instrument that allows it to precisely map Jupiter's gravitational field. The data Juno gathered revealed that there is more gravitational pull from the northern hemisphere. In terms of Jupiter's magnetic field, Juno's readings revealed that the magnetic field is two times stronger than researchers previously thought. Stay with us, because next up is a journey to Jupiter's core. What secrets did Juno unravel about the interior of this planet? Well, Juno revealed that Jupiter might have a fuzzy core because hydrogen in the depths of Jupiter exists in a semi-gaseous and semi-dissolved state. And this fuzzy core is thought to be the catalyst for the planet's powerful magnetic fields. In 2021, 50 years after it started orbiting Jupiter, Juno's mission was initially planned to end, but with its success and unprecedented longevity, NASA decided to prolong its mission for five more years. And its next stop, the most volcanic world in the solar system, Jupiter's moon Io. According to NASA, there are 150 observed volcanoes inside Io, but 250 more are waiting for discovery.